you so much for joining me. So for this video, I'm going to be doing needle felting for the very first time. Uh, we went on a trip and during the trip we stopped over at this Airbnb, which I booked because the owner had a really cute alpacas right on the property. So there are five of them, I believe. Uh, over here I'm feeding them <laughs> and uh, they were so adorable they're so they were so curious about us they would come up to us very very close and I just I kind of fell in love so uh, on the way back the owner fur. like she sold us a little bit of the fur what I have done before is I've done a mouse only once so I'm not a needle felting expert but I think I did a pretty good job and I just wanted to do an alpaca out of alpaca wool so over here I'm showing that I have a brown color which will come in useful uh, I have pure white and then I also have this kind of um, in, be in between color so the in-between color is what I'm gonna use for the body. I am folding it a few times. Sponge, it needs to be fairly thick. And I have special needle felting needles. They have a little bit of the hook in there. So they're not just the regular needles, they're quite different. Uh, and you kind of make a bit of a shape, whatever shape you want the body to look like. And then you start uh, with the needle pressing down, always pressing down into the spongy so that you don't hit yourself and you start making the shape, almost like sculpting the shape out of the wool and the needle. So what I do is I turn it over a few times back and forth so that the shape becomes a little more 3D. Over here it's uh, getting to the 3D. It's very soft, it really shouldn't be this soft but you know it's okay for the for the second try that I'm doing this and the first time I'm doing this on the internet. Over here I'm making the bend so that we have the body and then we have the neck. To do that I just press, you know, I bend and then I press needles a few times so that it almost sculpts the wool. And in here I'm just adding extra wool so that we have more thickness and more density and of course lots and lots of needle work over here i'm doing the legs so i have an already pre-made them and i have furries at the ends of it this way i'm gonna have an easier time attaching the legs to the body so i fluff it up kind of expand it and now over here you see that i'm attaching it for now just physically and now I'm going over with the needle and this kind of bonds uh, the wool of the leg to the wool of the body. Over here all four legs are attached. The next step is the mouth. So same as the legs, there is a portion that I left to fluff it up and I go around where the, where the face is, where the head is, and I wrap it around, position it, and now attaching it with the needle. The head is complete, a little bit of the brown fur onto the body. And the ears. Alpacas have really adorable ears. These ears are gonna be brown. So over here what I want to do is I want to create a really cute scarf. Very simple. So just a thread. There is a knot at the end of the thread. Needle. Uh, these are kind of fluffy things I got from the Dollarama. Kind of like a pom-pom but much smaller and another, another uh, knot so that we have a bit of space in between the pom-poms and just another green one. Here is the scarf. Love how this is turning out. Now all that's left to do is eyes. I have some black wool from just store-bought black wool 
and I make a ball out of it first with my fingers and then I kind of go into the needle and again press it in. I did the other eye and the highlight and the highlights for both of the eyes. Now uh, with the brown that I have, also store-bought, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing, make a ball and that will be the nose. And over here I finished the nose and the mouth. So I think this looks really awesome. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe for more videos such as this. And thank you for watching. Thank you.